12 months same as cash offer. There's no need to wait. Superior Fence and Rail is Chattanooga's fencing company that you can trust. Okay, I'm feeling a bit intimidated this morning. Murphy's Law, right? When you run out of your house looking the worst you possibly can on any given day, who do you get to talk to on the show but hairstylists and beauty people? And that's what we had this morning. So on my bad hair day, very bad hair day, I have got uh, Joy Howard on the end. They're all here from Majestic Spa and Salon in Ringgold. So Joy is going to be our nail friend. Then we've got the two hairstylists, Sam Watts and Bailey Holt, next to me. So just don't judge, okay? Is that <laughs> you are beautiful. Okay, it's a it's a rainy, humid August yes. day, and we all could yes. use some help that time of year, mm -hmm. I would say. Um, so Majestic has been coming on for several months now on the show, and one of the things that we love whenever y'all are here is how much it feels like friends. Yes. You want the store to feel that way, the salon Absolutely. to feel that way. Absolutely. Every day. So you're the Ringgold native in the bunch, mm -hmm. Bailey. Mm -hmm. um, is it surprising to you to see it flourish now in no. Ringgold? No. Um, there's not a whole lot of close to small salons, mm -hmm. um, so I feel like that's what kind of makes us a little bit different. Well, you obviously encompass an awful lot there when you come in the door because you've got the massage uh, therapy part mm -hmm. of, of the salon. That's the spa part, I guess. Um, and then obviously the beauty regime. I want to talk to you a minute, Joy, because I heard through the grapevine that you do something a little bit unique in a way with your nail tech section. You only do acrylic nails. You yes. don't like to do dip. No. So. I've been doing nails for over 30 years, and the dip system didn't come into existence, I guess, until about 10, 12 years ago. Um, the I call it the classic acrylic system is just so much better for your nails. Mm -hmm. um, it's a two-step system, and it creates a, a better bond with your natural nail so that there, you don't take the chance of um, bacteria or moisture getting trapped, mm -hmm. causing uh, deeper problems. Well, yeah, first of all, I think you said something that probably got a lot of people's attention, and that is that you've been doing nails for 30 years. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of expertise you're bringing to that table. Yep, and I love what I do, and I'm constantly researching and learning and you know, just finding different things to do. So are you saying, because I'm not a person who gets my nails done, that's just not my thing, but if you do it and you're doing it the right way, it should not weaken your nail bed. Absolutely not. But sometimes Absolutely it not. can. If, if, if you go to a place and they're not, um, they, I, I like to keep the integrity of the nail in mind. No matter what I'm doing, who I'm doing it on, I'm going to mm -hmm. make sure that your nails are the best that they can be. Right. And if you file on them too much, if you use um, harsh chemicals, a lot of places use um, really inexpensive mm -hmm. products that they can get in bulk, mm -hmm. and it's not the best for your nails. Mm -hmm. I only use the best products. Well, that also comes back then to the sense of community that you have there at mm -hmm. the salon because you're going to live with the people who you're servicing every day That's right. and you want to make sure they're happy with the product. Absolutely. Okay, so I'll throw myself under the proverbial bus here, Sam. So okay. here I am um, on this not so great hair day. <laughs> Probably my hair is getting a little bit too long. I've just had my own little stuff going on in life. So are you finding this time of year that women especially are coming to you saying, I want to change, the humidity is driving me nuts, what do I do? Yeah, usually around this time of year with the humidity um, and it becoming fall, we're starting to see more color changes. People are starting to want to, want to change the way they look. Um, seasons are changing and, and we all have our own seasons, so mm -hmm. um, we like to change with the season. But you have to know that, right? I mean, mm -hmm. it, well, part of doing hair is that you're, no one's hair few people's hair is the same all 12 months right. of the year. Right. So if you go through kind of a radical style change and then the dry air of winter kicks in, your hair is going to look different mm -hmm. in January than it will now. Do you have to counsel people on that, Bailey? A little bit. Um, as far as like the products to use, different kinds of products to use on your hair in different seasons and different ways of styling it in different seasons and stuff like that, especially with humidity. Humidity makes it really hard, mm -hmm. um, especially if you're a person who does your hair every morning. Mm -hmm. um, so like I said, pro different products help a lot with that. Do we tend to overdo our hair every morning? Are we using too much heat? If you're using a heat protectant, no. <laughs> um, but most people don't. 
So yes, and uh, like a lot of people think washing their hair every day is great. It's not. Um, so there's a lot of different factors that go into doing your hair every day. Mm -hmm. um, some of them can be great and some of them not so great. So it's just depending on the person. If someone comes to y'all for a new visit, um, and they'll say it's going to be a hairstyle, do you first want to hear from them? Is it helpful for you if they bring in a picture of something they have in mind? Absolutely. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Pictures are great. We always ask for pictures. And we also have a, um, especially if it's a new color client, we have a form for them to fill out. That way we know their hair history, what they're currently using on their hair, if they use heat on their hair, um, all sorts of stuff like that. So we kind of have a background of what's on their hair so mm -hmm. we can provide the best service. Is the daily routine important for you to know too, Sam? Like this was a hurry out the door morning for me. If you Absolutely. have not um, a lot of time, you got to know that. Yeah, well, it's just if you're going to be doing a different style cut wise, um, we want to be on the same page. So if you bring a picture of what you like, that mm -hmm. way what you're thinking and what I'm thinking could be totally different. So if we have a picture of an idea, what you like is good. Um, hair routine, um, you don't want to necessarily overheat your hair. Definitely always use a heat protectant before you heat your hair mm -hmm. um, just to keep your hair healthy. Is, uh, are you, do you um, have a lot of men coming to the salon too? They're getting more and more interested in their appearance as the years yeah. go on. So men, um, I, st I specialize in short hair, men and boys, and then pixie cuts for women, okay. um, anything shorter hair. So um, men are very, their haircuts are different. It has to be precise. Um, they're more particular um, on how it's cut and they don't want to see lines and things like that. So it's, it's a different kind of style. Mm -hmm. um, but we do have a lot of men clients that come in there as well. I guess I'll ask you kind of a typical question. My younger daughter gets her nails done all the time. So picking out the color is always the name of the game. Which color do you want this month? And uh, so with football season underway, do you see people come in to get their team colors? Oh, absolutely. And I have a full stock of all different team decals for the nails. Oh, really? Yeah, because fans are like big. Uh, women, they want to, they want to make sure they've got all that going on. They want to make sure that the Absolutely. world knows if they're rooting right. for Georgia over Tennessee. That's right. Not even that I Alabama. am. <laughs> Sad to say, even Alabama. <laughs> so here's where you'll find them, okay? It's Majestic Spa and Salon in Ringgold on Old Mill Road. Online, it's MajesticSpaAndSalon.com. So if you're looking to get your nails done, if you're looking for a new haircut, if you're looking for a relaxing massage, if you're looking for some new friends, Give them a call, 706-937-3535. I think you can also book online. Is that right? Um, you can send us an email through our, our website, yes. There you go. You heard it from Bailey. We're back after this. It's twice as nice at the new Mangoes in Red Bank. Mango showroom is twice the size. Twice the sofas 